Hello everybody, I'm Lynn La Forcina, and today we're going to take a closer look at Google Project Fi. Launched on April 2015, Project Fi is a tech giant's take on a mobile wireless service. It enables you to make calls, send texts, and surf the internet. By default, it uses local Wi-Fi networks, the same kind you have set up at your home or find in a coffee shop or airport. Because some Wi-Fi spots are public, Google promises to encrypt your data so it is secure. If Wi-Fi coverage is unavailable or too weak, you'll automatically and seamlessly be switched to either Sprint or T-Mobile's cellular network. For now, you can only use Project Fi on Google's flagship handset, the Nexus 6. That's because there's a specialized radio inside the phone that supports multiple cell networks, and it works with a unique Project Fi SIM card that has multiple carrier support as well. Part of the service's appeal is its easy-to-understand pricing structure. The base cost is $20 a month, which gets you unlimited calls and texting in the US, unlimited international texting in the US to 120 and more countries, and Wi-Fi tethering. If you want data, that costs $10 a gig per month. So, for example, if you sign up for 4 gigs, that'll cost $40, bringing your total monthly bill to $60. Whatever data you don't use at the end of the month gets refunded back to you. If you end up using 3.1 out of the allotted 4 gigs this month, that means you have 900 megabytes left over and you get 9 bucks back. Now, some of our own preliminary testing has shown varying data. Download rates have ranged from 3 to 13 megabits per second, while upload rates range from 1 to 18 megabits per second. Of course, take these results with a grain of salt. Data speeds vary widely for a number of reasons, including location and time of day. What we're observing here is just a minuscule sample size in our San Francisco offices. Now, Google isn't alone in its wireless endeavors. Carriers like Republic Wireless and Scratch Wireless offer similar services, with the former charging $10 a month for talk, text, and Wi-Fi, and $15 per gig of data. Google has described Project Fi not necessarily as a competition to its carrier partners, but rather an ongoing experiment that will hopefully push these companies to offer cheaper and more efficient services. If you're interested in experiencing Project Fi for yourself, you'll need to go online and request an invite. And for more information on this and other tech news, be sure to check out CNET.com.